morning po para sa lahat ng mga uh, taga-subaybay ng live streaming ng School of Church Builder under the mentorship of our very own mentor, Pastor Wilbert Butyal. Ngayon po ako ay nagpapasalamat sa privilege na ipinagkalob niya sa atin upang makabahagi ng salita ng Diyos sa lahat ng mga tagasunod or palaging nanonood o nagaantabay sa daily live streaming ng School of Church Builder. Ngayon po ay pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na the outcomes of an open heaven. Ang ating scripture po ay doon sa Luke chapter 3 verse 21 to 23. Sabi dito, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was open. And the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily form like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, You are my beloved big son. In you, I am well placed. Now, Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph or the son of Hilly. Tayo po ay manalangin. Mapagpalang Diyos, Ama naming nasa langit, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon at panahon na ipinagkaloob mo sa amin. Salamat Panginoon ngayon sa patnubay at gabay ng iyong banal na Espiritu Santo na sa mga oras na ito habang kami ay nakikinig sa iyong mga salita. Patuloy pong buksan ng aming kaisipan at puso upang maintindihan po namin ang lahat ng iyong mga panukala, lahat ng iyong mga minsahi na nais mo maiparating sa aming buhay at mapalakas ang aming espiritual na pamumuhay. Panginoon, sa oras na ito, we always depend on the pack, on the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, O Lord. We give you glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and Amen. The outcomes of an open heaven. Habang pinapakinggan ko po ang uh, series ng Living Under Open Heaven na tinatalakay ng ating mentor na si Pastor Wilbert Butyal, nagkaroon po ng kapahayagan sa akin habang ako ay nakikinig na kung ang isang tao ay nasa ilalim, nabubuhay sa ilalim ng bukas na kalangitan, specifically po ay makakamtan niya ang mga bagay na minsan ay hindi makakamtan ng iba. If we can imagine what will happen when you fulfill righteousness. Kung ang isang tao ay kaniyang ginagawa ang tinatawag na righteousness sa kaniyang buhay, wala pong imposible na hindi siya makaranas ng mga pagpapala sa bukas na kalangitan. When you do what is instructed by God, naniniwala ko na ipagkakaloob ng Panginoon ang kaniyang mga panukala, ang kaniyang mga pagpapala sa ating buhay. 
when you do what is needed para sa kaharian ng Diyos, hindi siya mag-atubili o mag-alilangan na ipagkaloob sa atin ang ating kahilingan. The days of release only comes when we learn the days of restraint. If you never learn what government is, you will never able to rule. If you never learned law, you will never learn to submit. In, kung hindi natin alam kung anong panggobyernuhan ang mayroon, hindi natin din alam kung paano sumunod. At hindi natin alam kung paano ang mga batas na dapat nating sundin. That is why God allow us to come under the place of learnings so that in the days ahead, we can become part and parcel of work force that cannot be healed back. Ang nangyari po kay Jesus Christ ay pwede din mangyari sa ating buhay. Ang nangyari sa Kanya habang siya ay magsisimula pa lamang sa ministry ang Kanyang unang ginawa ay ang sumunod, lumakad sa kabanalan na kung saan ay maluluwalhati ang ama na nasa langit na nagsugo sa kanya. Kaya to fulfill righteousness, I believe na mararanasan natin ang maximum outcomes sa ating buhay sa magitan ng pamumuhay sa bukas na kalangitan. Now, ano po ang mga outcomes na nag-reveal sa aking buhay habang pinapakinggan ko ang mga mensahe na ipinapangaral ng ating mentor na si Pastor Wilbert patungkol sa living under an open under open heaven. Una po, na-summarize ko at napag-isip-isip ko na kung ang isang tao ay namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan, matatanggap po niya ang pangako ng Panginoon na ano? First, we are top priority of God. That is number one na sumagi sa aking isip na outcomes ng isang tao kung o isang mananampalataya kung siya ay nasa ilalim, namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan. We are first on his list of things to do. Tayo ay kanyang unahin sa mga bagay na kanyang gagawin. He consider us, he consider our request. Kung tayo ay mga request sa Panginoon, he consider us He consider us his first as a his people. The Bible says, "Don sa Psalms that we are the apple of his eyes." 
being the apple of his eyes, we are given first preference by God. We are giving first preference and favor. We will pursue to be first in line. So this is the outcomes, number one, that we will experience if we live under an open heaven. Para sa akin, ang open heavens is we are the top priority of God. If we live in an open heaven, we are the top priority of God. God will consider us first and last. He always consider our request. He will be the top on his list. I am always at the top of his list. God will be sitting his eyes on me and hear my request. He will never turn me down or away because I am first on his list. Hindi niya ako iiwanan. Hindi niya ako ilalaglag. At hindi niya ako pababayaan because I am first on his list. I am the priority of him. I am a priority of him because I live in an open heaven. That's why when I pray today, I could consider that that would be my portion. That would be my portion. Itong promise ng Panginoon, ito po ang aking napagtanto at napagbulay-bulay habang pinapakinggan ko ang mga minsahi na aking narinig sa ating mentor. The outcomes na ating makukuha. The outcomes na ating makukuha when we live under open heaven ay the top, we are the top priority by God. Kaya tama po at it is now the manifestation of His Word in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 to 14 that if we will walk in righteousness if we will obey explicitly by His instruction then He says He will open the heaven and the storehouse of His bounty to send rain on our land in season and to blaze the work of my hands, of our hands. Ang maganda dito ay sabi niya sa following verse, He will make us He, he will make us He will never sabi doon niya na tayo ay gagawin niyang Hindi tayo mangungutang. Bagkos tayo na ang magpapautang. At ang sabi pa niya doon, tayo ay gagawin niyang ulo, hindi tagabuntot, hindi buntot. He will make us the heed, not the till. So it is now in a manifestation, if we will live under open heaven, that God will make us top priority on His list. But the requirement is, if we will pay attention to the commands of the Lord, 
from this day onward, you will always, God will, God will make you always on the top, never at the bottom. Kung ito ang pangako ng Panginoon na God will make you on the top, never at the bottom. Therefore, I conclude that if we will live under an open heaven, God will make us always the top priority on His list. Kaya, naniniwala ako na ang sino mang namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan, always remember, always remember, Receive that you are the top priority of God on this list. Kahit dumating man ang mga pagsubok, dumating man ang mga pandemic na ito, ano man ang mangyari sa ating kapalibutan, hindi tayo matatakot. Why? We live under open heaven. This is the outcomes number one that we receive from the Lord if we will live under an open heaven. That is number one outcomes if we will live an open heaven. Number two outcomes is we will capture His presence. For me, I capture His presence. When we live under open heaven, the number two outcomes that we receive from the Lord is we will capture always His presence. Meaning, when the heaven open above us, He is always and forever near of us. Okay, when the heaven is open about is open above us, he is always and forever near of us. Random natin para sa yung malapit lang. Kung titingnan mo doon sa Luke chapter three verse twenty one and three, after mabautis mo si Kristo, bumaba ang dawg palapati at nabuksan ang kalangitan at para bang narinig niya malapitan ang Panginoon. This is my beloved son. In you I am well placed. Malapitan na busis na narinig ng Panginoon. Whereas yung mga tao na kapila doon, hindi nila marinig clearly ang busis ng Panginoon. Ang kaya lang narinig lang ay para bang ingay lang mula sa langit. Pero dahil si Kristo at si John ay namumuhay sa bukas na kalangitan. Maliwanag sa kanilang pandinig na parang malapit lang ang Diyos sa kanila. Why? Because he captured the presence of God. God consciousness will permit that atmosphere. See? That, that God consciousness will permit that atmosphere. There will be a clear manifestation when His presence is always, when His presence is always present. Clear manifestation. Yung ngayari sa Luke chapter 3 verse 21, 23 is a clear manifestation that God is with them because of the voice he heard from heaven and the dove na na doon sa kanyang balikat with the representation of the Holy Spirit. There will be a clear manifestation of His presence and When an open heaven, when heaven open up upon our lives, God's presence is your portion. I repeat, when heaven open upon our lives, 
God presence is our portion. That is the outcomes that we re receive or experience from the Lord. That would be our portion. If you turn to the left, God is there. If you turn to the right, God is there. If you look at the front, God is there. If you look at the back, then God is there. Whole of your life, you will feel the presence of God. He is there always. He's around over us, above us, and we can feel him in our feet, in our hands, and everywhere because his presence will be our portion. He will overshadow us. That is number two. Outcomes that we receive if we will live under an open heaven. The Bible says, everyone know the Lord was with them. That same portion will be yours. Therefore, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig, sa lahat ng mga nanonood lagi, sa daily live streaming ng ating mentor, Pastor Wilbert. If I were you, don't fear in your heart. Wag po tayong matakot. Because if we live under open heaven, we will experience the, the, the presence of God. Do not fear in your heart. When men begin to leave you, do not fear in your heart. When circumstances do not fall in place. Kaya itong pandemic ngayon, huwag tayong matakot. Kasi, Habang ako ay nagmamasid, nakikinig dito sa aral ng ating mentor living under open heaven. The true Goshen, ang totoong Goshen, ay hindi na natin makikita kung saan lugar. Hindi katulad noon na ang Goshen ay sa lugar ng Egypt, in a portion of Egypt. But now, kahit saan lugar ka, hindi ka na makakaligtas. There is no safest way as of this moment. Kahit saan lugar ka, hindi ka na makaligtas. May kapahamakan na nakaatang doon. Itong pandemic na ito, halos lahat ng mundo ay apiktado. Maliban sa pandemic, Nung Baguio Lysis Azaruli, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao ay naapiktuhan ng baha. Parang wala na tayong mapupuntahan. Pero naniniwala po ako, the right place at pinakamagandang goshin sa ating buhay if we will live in the presence of God. I repeat, ang pinamagandang gusin ngayon ay hindi na po lugar, kundi kung ikaw ay nasa presensya ng Panginoon, masasabi ko na ikaw ay safety because in the presence of God, it is the true gusin in our lives. Kung nasa presensya ka ng Panginoon, Wala kang dapat katakutan. Paano, nat, paano natin mabisabi na we are in the presence of God? If we are connected to God, if we are laging babad sa kanyang mga salita, if we are laging meditating the word of God day and night, if you are meditating the word day and night, you will always feel the presence of God. 
you will always feel that his presence is always present in that moment. That's why wala kang dapat katakutan sapagkat kung nasa presensya ka ng Panginoon, that is the right place, the Gushin na kanyang pinangako para sa atin. Kahit saan ka magpunta ngayon, hindi na ligtas ang mga lugar. Hindi mo alam yung mga taong katabi mo, kausap mo, baka sila ay career na ng COVID-19. Pagpunto sa lugar, may bagyo, binabaha. Kaya parang wala na tayong ligtas. Ang pinakamat safest way ay sa presensya ng Panginoon. That is number two na aking nakalculate, na aking napagtanto. That is the number two outcomes when we live under an open heaven. Number three. Number three outcomes in when we live under an open heaven. We receive the provision of God. I repeat, we receive the provision of God. If we will receive the provision of God, God will supply to those He, he approves and sanction. When we live under open heaven, number three outcome that we receive is we receive His provision. When we receive the provision of God, hindi tayo magkukulang. They will not lack anything because they live because we live under an open heaven. All our needs will come to them even before they ask and ask for Him. Naranasan ba natin to? Yes, even myself today. Habang nakikinig ako sa minsan ni Pastor Wilbert, ramdam ko at nafeel ko na God is so faithful to me because God always releases supernatural provision unto us. To my business, to my family, and to the ministry, God is so faithful. I always experience the supernatural provision of God. Why supernatural provision? Because in spite of this pandemic, simula ng mag-lockdown ng March until today, salamat sa Panginoon. Pinaranas niya sa akin ang kanyang supernatural provision. In my business, in my family, and in my ministry, kung saan pandemic, lagi ako nagtitistify. Doon lumalaki ang aking income sa negosyo. Kung saan pandemic, sunod-sunod ang promotion ng global marketing director ng Eastern Visayas. Kung saan pandemic, doon ang aking pinamalaking honoring na inibigay sa aking mentor. Kaya nga sabi ng mentor ko, parang lockdown blessing ito. So therefore, when I continue listening to hear to him, I always conclude that the outcomes I receive from the Lord, if we will live under open heaven, you will receive the provision from God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He will never leave you in a place of wanting. He will never leave you in a place of wanting. He will lead you to a stream of living water. Living water. Kabuhayan mo. Sasagana. Negosyo mo. Sasagana. If you live under open heaven. And a new pasture where you can lie down and rest in peace. Kung saan, pandemic, kung saan we are in the oppressive environment, there is a new opportunity dagdag sa ating negosyo. Kung saan, pandemic, 
doon pa tayo nagpatayo ng ating dream house. Salamat sa Panginoon. In the ministry, even lockdown, we never stop worshiping the Lord. Hindi kami nagsara ng church. Tuloy-tuloy ang aming panambahan. Tuloy-tuloy ang income ng church. Thank God for that supernatural provision from the Lord. One of the things you need to know is how to meet your needs and the needs of others around you. But I believe if you live under open heaven, first, mararanasan mo ang provision ng Lord. And anyone who are connected to you, mararanasan din nila ang provision na iyong naranasan. One of the signs of maturity is how to meet your needs, to clothe and strengthen yourself. That it been depend on being a pastor. Sa ministry po, tuloy-tuloy ang mga income ng mga negosyante. Tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang pag-owner sa church. Kasi sila po ay connected sa isang tao na namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan. That is the number three outcomes when we live under an open heaven. Number four outcomes when we live under open heaven, we know His protection. We knew His protection. Once you live under an open heaven, Ramdam mo ang protection ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Ramdam mo ang kanyang pangako sa ating buhay. Para bang yung Psalms 91 ay ramdam mo yung mga pangako ng Panginoon. Bawat verse doon, kung mararamdaman lang po natin, parang ramdam natin ang protection ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Kaya nga, napag Conclude ko po na bago pa mangyari ang COVID-19-19, ginawa na ng Panginoon at isinunglat na ng Panginoon, nireveal na ng Panginoon sa buhay ni Salmista David ang Psalms 9-1. Bago pa nangyari ang COVID-19, nangyari na ang Psalms 9-1. Kaya itong protection ng Panginoon, Naniniwala po ako na ang taong under sa kanyang open heaven ay maranasan at maramdaman niya na siya ay namumuhay sa loob o sa open heaven. Therefore, ramdam niya na siya ay iniingatan ng ating Panginoon. Para bang ang sabi ng Biblia, we are like a city without walls yet at the, at the same time in the same chapter the bible says he will build a wall of fire around us god will not leave us vulnerable when we grow even in our prosperity and blessing and when you start to mature god will protect you kung tayo ay, namum, ay namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan, kung pinagpala man tayo ng Panginoon, kung nakareceive man tayo ng pagpapala everyday, umunlad ang ating negosyo, ang ating kabuhayan, ang ating ministry, lagi nating kinoconsider, lagi nating itinataas ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon na kung hindi sa Kanya, hindi tayo makaranas ng ganyan. Kung ikaw, ay namumuhay sa bukas na kalangitan. You will know that God is our protector. God is our defender. Kaya ito po ang number four. Masasabi ko na this pandemic right now, I'm always trusting God that He will protect us. He will protect my family. He will protect all 
the members of the Katarman Temple of Praise, all the lifestylers, all my business partner, ramdam ko po ang kanyang pag-iingat. Because he will our guard forever and ever. God will protect us. God will cover us. His feathers under his wings. Kaya, this 2021 or 20, mararanasan natin ang special year of extraordinary protection ng Panginoon. Extraordinary protection ng Panginoon. If you will live under an open heaven, you will experience the outcomes of a Christian or mananampalataya na if he live under open heaven. God will release his special of extra ordinary protection to your family, to your business, to your life today. While you are reasoning this message today. This is my personal experience that we, the outcomes when we live under an open heaven. So ngayon, habang ikaw ay nakikinig, I always pray and declare right now that you will protected from harm or pandemic. You will protected from evil attack in Jesus' name. That is number four. Now number five, outcomes of an open heaven is we serve his purpose. We serve his purpose. Once tayo ay nasa ilalim sa bukas na kalitan, makikita po natin at malalaman natin kung ano ang layunin ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Ano ba ang purpose ng Panginoon sa ating buhay? Ramdam natin at alam natin, damang-daman natin ang layunin ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Kung alam natin ang purpose ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, we cannot turn to the left or to the right. We will focus the Lord ang nagtawag sa atin, ang nag sa atin, ang nagbigay sa atin ng kaligtasan. We will focus on Him, the author and the finisher of our faith. We will serve Him. We will praise Him. We will glorify Him. And we will adore Him. Because the, we know our ultimate purpose in life. In serving His purpose, we become a prisoners locked on to His purpose. Na doon tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon, sa kanyang vineyard, sa kanyang nasakupan. Doon tayo para sa prisoners sa kanyang karian. Kaya, once you live under open heaven, the outcomes na makikita sa ating buhay, klaro ang ating pag-interpreter ng ating purpose on this world. Clear na clear po ang ating purpose. Kasi ang isang tao, pag malabo ang kanyang purpose, hindi niya alam kung ano ang kanyang destination. Hindi niya alam kung ang gagawin niya. Kaya therefore, ang kanyang buhay ay sablay-sablay. Pero pag isang tao ay namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas ng kalangitan, maliwanag po ang kanyang layunin ang purpose. Kaya lagi siyang excited. Lagi siyang uh, gusto niyang gumising ng maaga sapagat excited siya, sapagat alam niya ang purpose niya ng kanyang buhay. At ang tao na alam ang purpose ng kanyang buhay, hindi siya kaagad tumatanda. Kahit siya ay matanda, feeling niya siya ay bata lagi. Kasi 
may tinatawag siya na young at heart. Ang taong laging young at heart ay laging excited siya. Kaya kung gusto natin tayo ay maging excited, kahit tayo matanda na, pero hindi natin feeling na tayo matanda na, know your purpose in life. And always live under an open heaven. That is number five outcomes of an open heaven. Now, number six. Maganda po itong number six. Number six outcomes of an open heaven is we experience His power. In spite of the oppressive environment or this trying time, we will experience His power. Why? Because you live under an open heaven. And this is the outcome that God wants us to be experienced. Power. Ano ang manifestation ng isang mananampalataya o ng isang lingkod ng Diyos na siya ay nakararanas ng kapangyarihan ng Panginoon? Ang isang indicator na maranasan mo ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon if the Holy Spirit will remain in you. Just like Jesus Christ, when the Holy Spirit descended like a dog and remained in Him, then He is a so powerful no magsimula sa sa ministry He is so powerful, Jesus Christ. Why? The Holy Spirit will descend and remain in us. Ang banal ng Santo ay nanatili sa Kanya. That's why He is so powerful. Folks, lahat na nakikinig ngayon, when the Holy Spirit remains, He becomes your permanent friends. When the Holy Spirit remains in you, you become the Holy Spirit. He becomes your friends. The Holy Spirit that led Jesus is now your leader. The Holy Spirit that leads Jesus is now your leader. Once He is your leader, He will speak to you. He will speak to you every time, every day. He will speak to you. He will guide you whenever you go. He will demonstrate His power, His supernatural power. He will demonstrate once the Holy Spirit remains in you, the supernatural power begins to flow. Begin begins to flow. When you live under an open heaven, you experience the supernatural demonstration of power. You will experience the supernatural demonstration of power. How can we Avail the supernatural demonstration of power. Number one. What you cannot do, you begin to do. Once you experience the supernatural demonstration of His power, what you cannot do, you begin to do. Yung hindi mo nagagawa noon, ngayon magagawa mo na. Why? you will experience the supernatural demonstration of God's power through the power of the Holy Spirit. What you cannot see, you begin to see. Hindi mo nakikita noon, makikita mo na ngayon. Why? Because God will open your eyes. And the time na buksan ng Panginoon ang iyong mata, makikita mo yung mga bagay na hindi mo nakikita noon. Maraming mga tao ang may mata, subalit hindi niya nakikita 
ang katotohanan. Akala nila na ang kanilang paningin ay tama na, katulad kay Apostol Pablo, nung hindi pa niya ma-encounter ang Panginoon. Akala niya na ang kanyang pananampalataya ay tutama na. Akala niya na totoo na ang kanyang pananampalataya. Pero hindi pala. Kaya ginawa ng Panginoon, binulag mo na siya para makita niya ang katotohanan na hindi pa niya nakikita. Kaya ang ginagawa ng Panginoon para makita natin ang mga bagay na hindi nakikita, kailangan tayo muna mabulag para makita natin ang katotohanan na hindi pa natin nakikita before. You start to hear. Dati hindi mo narinig, narinig ang busis ng Panginoon. But now because God was was demonstrated his power unto you to the power of the Holy Spirit, what you could not hear, you start to hear. Tingnan mo sa Luke 23 verse 21 to 22. Yung mga nakapila doon, nagpapabautis mo kan John the Baptist, hindi nila marinig ang busis ng Diyos. Ang kanilang larinig lang ay parang ingay na nagbubula sa langit. Pero dahil namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan, narinig nila ang hindi pa nila narinig, ang busis ng Panginoon. Kaya at the age of 30 years, old, nung magsimula siya sa kanyang ministry, napatunayan niya na what is impossible becomes impa- what is impossible become possible. Once we receive His power. What is invisible becomes invisible. This is the outcomes na ipinapakita ng Panginoon once we live under an open heaven. Now, what cannot be done, it's been done. It is the power na kailangan ng bawat mananampalataya. Kung nais natin maranasan ang open heaven, kung nais natin ang maranasan ang kanyang outcome sa ating buhay, then it has continue to live an open heaven. Number seven, once, number seven outcomes, once we live under open heaven, is we hear and heed his proceeding word. Naniniwala po ako na once ang number seven outcomes, once we live under open heaven, laging prisko ang ating maranig na mga salita mula sa Diyos. Mayroon tayong lagi na receive ng mga panukala, mga kapahayagan ng Panginoon na nagbibigay sa atin ng kagalakan, nagbibigay sa atin ng excitement in order to continue our man to do our mandate in a church. Kasi lagi tayo nakarinig ng mga bagong Kapa, kapahayagan at mga panukala ng Lord. His proceeding word. Meaning, the throne is aligned. The throne is, the throne Rome is aligned. What God is speaking in heaven is coming to you. What God is speaking in heaven is coming to you. This is my beloved son. In him, I am well placed. When we live under an open heaven, the word of God is never lacking. The word of God is never lacking. Salamat sa Panginoon na ang mga pastor under sa school of church builders with the mentorship of Pastor Wilbert Mutial, ay hindi po 
maubos-ubusan ng mga kapahayagan, mga panukala na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Dahil po, ang lahat ng mga pastors, leaders under the School of Church Builder ay unlimited po ang supply ng Panginoon sa atin lahat. Dahil mayroon pong tao na laging namumuhay sa bukas na kalangitan at patuloy siyang nakareceive ng mga kapahayagan at panukala mula sa Panginoon at ang kanyang tinuturo sa lahat ng mga connected at nakikinig sa Kanya. Ako man din ay isa sa mga ganyan. Kaya, number seven outcomes of an open heaven is to hear and heed His proceeding word. Number eight outcomes of an open heaven. We are blessed His prosperity. We are blessed His prosperity. When God prosper us, He adds no sorrow. If you want God to prosper you, He must test you. If you allow Him to test, then you can be sure He will prosper you. Kung nakaranas ka mga yun ng mapagsubok, naniniwala ko na pagpapalain ka ng Panginoon. Ang lahat ang nakaranas ng bagyo after the typhoon, kasunod niyan ay blessing. Kagaya nangyari sa Yolanda at Tacloban. Nung magkaroon ng Yolanda at Tacloban, nung ako ay pumunta after three days, kala mo hindi na makabangon. Pero sabi ng salita ng Diyos, after the test, then God will prosper you. Ngayon ang takluban, parang walang nangyayari. Kaya in every typhoon, in every disaster, ang kasunod niyan ay prosperous, prosperity. Kaya sa lahat na nakaranas ngayon ng bagyo, yung lisis at roli, maniwala lamang kay salita ng Panginoon. Hindi lahat ng panahon ay lahat ay kahirapan. Makakaahon kayo sa kahirapan sapagkat nandyan sa inyo ang Panginoon. Makakaligtas kayo sa kahirapan sapagkat ang kasunod ng pagdisting ay pagpapala na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Only kung ikaw ay laging connected at laging namumuhay sa bukas na kalangitan. Mabikita mo ang outcomes ng isang tao. Kahit sa pagsubok, kahit sa maraming pinagdaanan na problema ng kanyang buhay, lagi siyang naniniwala at umaasa na may Diyos na nagmamasid sa kanya. Hindi sa pababayaan sa anumang pangyayari sa kanyang buhay. Iyan po ang aming naranasan. Kaya itong ngayon na topic, itong mensahe na ito, ay it is now the revelation by God in which sa panahon na ako ay nakikinig sa series ng Living Under Open Heaven ni Pastor Wilbert. Dito ko napagtanto na ang outcomes ng itang tao once he live under open heaven ay we are blessed with his prosperity. Ang sabi sa Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, And you shall remember the Lord your God For it is He who gives you power to get well, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore to your forefather as it is this day. Ayo man ay pinagpala ng Panginoon, wag natin kalimutan na ang Dios ang nagpapala sa atin. Eight, Deuteronomy eight two to four, you shall remember the Lord your God, lead you all the way. This forty years in the wilderness, to be humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. So humble you, allowed to be hunger and feed with manna, 
which you did not know or did your fathers know that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone but man lives by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. Ito po yung ating maranasan na outcomes when we live under open heaven. Number nine. Number nine. Outcomes of an open heaven is we experience His progress. We experience His progress. Habang pinapaliwala, pinapakinggan ko ang series ni Pastor Wilbert sa Living Under Open Heaven. Totoo pala ang definition ni Dr. Jonathan David na an open heaven is a result of God's favor and the minister's life. It is not something he searched for. It is because of his intimate walk with God. It is the seal of God's approval because of his explicit Obedience. The word explicit obedience. Outcomes number nine is we will experience his progress. Hindi ka mananatili sa baba once you are minister of God, once we once we we live under open heaven, we will experience the outcomes number nine that his progress. Meaning, He will take us from one level to another level. Hindi tayo manatili na number one, lagi tayo magpo-progress because we serve a progressive God. Once we serve a progressive God, hindi tayo manatili na number one. Tayo ay ipoprogress ng Panginoon. Kaya nga habang pinagmamasdan ko ang mga pastors sa School of Church Builders, Dati-dati ang kanilang mga sakyan ay motorcycle. But now, sila, sila po ay nagpaka four wheels na. Ibig sabihin, sila ay pinagpapala ng Panginoon. Dati-dati ang kanilang simbahan ay mga maliliit. Pero now, ang ministry ay progressive. Yan po ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Once we live under open heaven, we will experience His progress. Unais natin na mamuhay at maranasan ang progresibo na promise ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, then, matuto tayo mamuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan. And number 10 is outcome is we will see His posterity. He will see His posterity. Ibig sabihin dito ay kaya natin ginagawa ang mga bagay na ito. Kaya tayo patuloy na mamuhay under open heaven. Why? Because yung mga taong nag, nagmamasig sa atin, yung ating mga anak, yung mga mga next generation, tayo ang tinitingnan. Ginagawa natin ito ngayon para sa kanila, hindi para sa atin kasi tayo ay someday ay tatanda na. Kaya ginagawa natin ito dahil we always sit this to our children, our next generation. That means that the next generation, one of the most amazing things living under open heaven is you will attract the next generation. One thing what you are carrying, one thing what you are carrying. If you do not attract the next generation with what you carry because you do not live under an open heaven, this will be the sign of a wonder. If you are connected to heaven and heaven is open, the next generation comes in line because they have seen hope in us. They have seen hope in us. The sea hope through you. There's something about your life that has never, that has never happened before. Hindi lang nila mas masasabi na ayaw ko nang mag ayaw ko magpastor. Sa pagkat nakikita ngayon na ikaw ay progressive. 
Kaya sila ay nais nila na mag-serve sa Panginoon. Sapagat napaganda pala mag-serve sa Panginoon. Marami na ang maglingkod sa Panginoon. Sapagat nakita nila na ang lingkod ng Diyos ay totoong pinagpapala ng Diyos. So pag ito ang tiningnan ng ating mga kabataan, yung klase ng ating pamumuhay, yung ating na klase ng ating statutory platform in the government, in the society, masasabi ko na maraming mga kabataan ang susunod sa ating mga apa. Maraming salamat po kasi ngayon nabuksan ang ating isipan at puso sa mga bagong katuruan na nagbukas at nag-elevate sa ating pananampalataya at sa ating stature bilang mga pastor. Kaya nagpapasalamat ako sa ating mentor, Pastor Wilbert Butyal, na hindi po nanatili sa tinatawag na old move. Siya ay nanatili, siya ay nag-move doon sa new move at nagtuturo buksan ang isipan ng mga mananampalataya at lalong lalo na ang mga minister of God. Sapagkat ang kahirapan ay nakasalalay sa ating pag-iisip. O ang ating pag-iisip kahit tayo mga minister ay poverty mindset pa tayo o poor mindset. Kahit tayo ay lingkod ng Panginoon, it is affected by our performance. But thank God there is our mentor who opened our eyes, who enlarged our mindset naging prosperity mindset tayo. Kaya, pag ito ay patuloy na mamuhay sa ating buhay, naniwala ako na we will live under open heaven and because of that, the next generation will follow us. Hindi na nasasabihin na ayaw ko magpastor kasi nakita ko sa aking ama na nahihirapan siya. Sasabihin nila, gusto ko Sundan ang apak ng aking ama sa pagdating aking ama pastor na milyonaryo, pastor na mayaman at pastor na progressive ang ministry na pinagkaloob ng Panginoon sa kanya. Ito po ang dapat nating digyang pansin, maging model tayo sa lahat ng mga tao. We must be strong and we must be model to the people, lalo na sa mga next generation na sumusunod sa ating mga yapak. This is the outcomes of an open heaven. Therefore, I conclude today, huwag atin lamang susundin at isa sa buhay ang lahat ng ating natutunan dito sa living under open heaven na sinasabi at tinisiris ni Pastor Wilbert. Makapagdagdag pa tayo ng mga bagay na kung saan mga panukal at kapayagan ng Panginoon patungkol dito sa living under open heaven. Therefore, today, I conclude that the outcomes of open heaven, we have thin outcomes. First is, we must top, we must top priority by God, of God. Number two, we will capture the presence of God. And number three, we receive the provision of God. And number four, we know His protection. And number five, we serve His purpose. And number six, we experience His power. And number seven, to hear, we will hear and hear His proceeding word. And number eight, we are blessed with His prosperity. And number nine, we experience His progress. And number ten, we will see His posterity. Takilang Dios, ama namin na sa langit, maraming maraming salamat sa napaka-exciting na kapahayagan na yung ipinagkaloob sa aming lahat ngayon. Panginoon, naniniwala po ako, these teen outcomes of an open heaven ay maranasan, Panginoon, ng mga taong nakikinig ng iyong mga salita. Maranasan ng mga taong namumuhay sa ilalim na bukas na kalangitan. Panginoon, sa oras po ito, nagpapasalamat po ako sa iyo na sa mga oras na ito, ang lahat na nakikinig ay maranasan ang lahat na kanilang napakinggan ngayon. In Jesus' name, ang lahat ng may pananampalataya, lead us walk in holiness and let us practice in righteousness because the key, that is the key of prosperity under an open heaven. Were you blessed with the message today? If so, Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button below for updates. Thank you for watching and see you next streaming.